Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Yes, Nam the Kano is still in detention, but this time around, it looks like the lawyer is crying out over the dangers he's already seen in the health status of um, Nam the Kano, and it's really alarming. And he wants the whole Nigerians to know. And honestly, if going by what he has said, uh, the honestly, uh, Nigerians should be worried, especially the supporters of Nam the Kano. They really should be worried over his health status. Well, before we go into the news proper, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Where the legal team of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nam the Kano, has demanded his immediate and unconditional release from custody of the Department of State Services to enable him to have access to medical personnel of his choice. The demand was based on alleged excruciating pains on Kano occasioned by his gastrointestinal disorder. My God. Kano's lead lawyer, Ifani Ejofo, in a statement on Friday in Abuja said that the detained IPOB, that's indigenous people of Biafran leader, had not been able to eat in the past, the past 48 hours. Due to his poor health status, that's two days. Ejofo who issued the statement after another routine visit to Kano in the custody of the Department of State Services in Abuja explained that from all indications, the security agencies had no facility to cope with health challenges of his clients. The statement read in part, and I quote, As usual, the court ordered routine visit to our client Namdi Khan was conducted at the Department of State Services Headquarters Abuja, where Kano is still being held in solid, solitary confinement for over 14 months. This visit was centered on our curiosity to ascertain the DSS level of compliance with providing Kano the requisite medical treatment that would address his deteriorating health condition. Sadly, we made startling discovery that despite the alarm raised on Monday, calling for the intervention of responsible foreign governments and institutions on DSS flagrant disobedience of court orders, orders of court particularly in denying Kano access to his medical, his personal medical doctor and medication, the DSS immediately resorted to local chemists local chemist store to procure substandard drugs to be administered on Kano. Since it is now obvious that the DSS does not have the facility, capacity, and or resources to manage Kano's deteriorating health condition, we are compelled to publicly implore the DSS to allow us how Kano back unconditionally, or better still, allow us to purchase the prescribed drugs, for Kano kind of pending his unconditional release from their custody. May we also use, seize this medium to inform the world that Kano has not eaten anything in the past 48 hours due to the concomitant excruciating pains occasioned by his gastrointestinal disorder, which the DSS have deliberately failed to avail him with the prescribed possible medical relief. With these developments, we are now convinced that the federal government is ostensibly afraid of the anticipated positive outcome of the Court of Appeals judgment. Hence, they are doing everything possible to subject our client, as Kano, to severe torture inhuman and degrading treatment before he finally regains his freedom. Nevertheless, we are sure Umo Chineke, that our defense team led by Chief Mike Ezehome, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, son, is not relenting in all actions we are taking to correct this anomaly and to put to a halt the degrading treatment of Kano. This is signed uh, by Ifani Ejo for this is worrisome. I must say this. Well, before I go into full analysis on this, because yes, we've been following this Mazinam Dekanu's trade from the day he stepped his foot in Nigeria. 
Okay. And honestly, to a lot of Nigerians, including myself, I am very surprised that he's still in detention till now. I was actually hoping that by now she ought to have been released, probably back to wherever he's coming from. But right now his health is deteriorating based on what uh, the lead counsel Thomas Namdekani Feyenjo for had observed and told the journalists and Nigerians as a whole that Mazen Namdekani is going through excruciating pain, 48 hours of not eating. He's going to emaciate. There's no way he's not going to emaciate. He's going to emaciate, probably going to, you know, the first, I think the first one has to do with his eyes initially, but now with stomach, with this, uh, the digestive disorder, it's, honestly, it's worrisome. Uh, let's hope that um, all goes well. But let's feel the pause of Nigerians. A lot of Nigerians are talking. Another person here says, so someone here says, he's not better than those his IPOB and ESN that have brought down and put acid over their dead bodies without benefit of a proper barrier with their loved ones. Painful of it to be saying that it was they bring down it was. What's this one saying? Another person here is saying, good, God. Okay, good. If eventually Kano get released, when he hear, heard people shouting El, El Sudan or Buhari, he will El Sudan, okay. El Sudan or Buhari, he will run like common arm rubber. You make me laugh. And the person here saying, Fella went through this in the 80s and eventually they killed him. Ken Sarawa did the same thing and he was murdered. This country has a long way to go, though. I am not a part of this man's struggle, but I pray that they do not kill him. I hope that we all all learn from mistakes and understand how to operate. Uh, Handyat number, I don't know what that is trying to say, uh, but this is what he said in, in summary, that we really need to pray. Let this not escalate, okay? And that person here is saying, well, please leave, oh, this guy is innocent. Mm. And that person said, watery beans, doing intestinal wonders. Nam the Kano is going through a lot. Oh, well, uh, a lot of Nigerians are talking at the background. Some are against, some are for, but in all, you know that Mazin Nam the Kano have an international lawyer, uh, Bruce Fain, and he's observing. Some of these things are documented. And don't also forget that there's also, there's also a case by the United Nations Human Rights uh, they have actually written to Nigeria. Hopefully, that uh, they should they, they didn't respond really, and um, Nigeria is actually hopeful. Or rather, those who are supporters of Mazen Africa are actually hopeful that they should have done the needful, probably you know, slam Nigeria with all the necessary uh, sanctions. But let's see how it plays out. But one thing is certain: these records are being kept for future purposes, and they may come against Nigeria when the least expect i would have said if he's not if he's going through health conditions why not allow him have access to personal opinion now let him have access to his medical doctor but let the doctor of the dss or doctor of the government also be there to observe that's just my personal opinion so that having done everything to stand you stand personal opinion yours my may differ from